Okay, and up next, let's discuss whether we can nest the components. And the short answer is yes. And let's also see how we can do that. So if I go back to my index.js, um, let's say I decide that my component is going to be more complex. I'll add a div. I'll say inside of the div heading two, and I'll call this John Doe. And then right below it, we're going to go with paragraph. This is my message. And then down the road, I decide that, you know what? These pieces are reusable. Or I just want to simplify this file. I don't want to have this heading two and paragraph. How I can set this value in a different component and then render that component? Well, we need to start by creating a component. And I'll purposely set up two arrow functions. One is going to be implicit return. So basically without the curlies and the other one is going to be with the curly braces, just to showcase that yes, of course, it is possible. So let's start here with const. So that's my first component person. And this is where I'll set up that implicit return, I'll say arrow function. And essentially what I want to return is this, I'm going to go with my heading two. So then let's copy and paste. And now let's set up that message. In this case, though, we will go with our curlies. So now we do need to provide explicitly that return. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Basically, we're not going to be adding anything here. So let me move this sucker up. Let me say return. And now, of course, I want to change this. I want to grab and I want to copy and paste. So I have three components now. I have the greeting, I have the person, as well as the message. So how we can nest components? Well, we simply need to reference the name. And again, same rules apply. That's why we go here with this capital case. And also, remember, we cannot just place them side by side. So we will have to set up some kind of parent. Now, in my case, that's div. Remember, you can go with some other element as far as HTML semantics or you can go with react fragment. So for me, I'm just going to keep the div. And basically, we just want to reference, we want to go here with person. And then we also want to display the message. And yes, before you ask, we can nest another 50,000 components inside of these ones. So imagine you go here, you'll create more components, you'll nest them here, and then all of them are going to be display it eventually in the greeting. And effectively, this is how our applications are going to look like. So we'll have that root one. So single root component, the convention is to name it app, but you don't have to. And inside of it, we nest the rest of our components. So all the components we need for our app. For example, inside of the app, we nest a page component which contains more components, nav bar, sidebar, and a header. Now, those components might or might not have their own nested components. And hopefully you see where I'm going with this. We inject a root component in the div with an ID of root in the index HTML, which is located in the public folder. And as a result, our app is nicely displayed in the browser, regardless, regardless whether it has five or 300 components.